Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at the brand new Galley today. I've had requests to record Galley for some time now and I uh, got around to finally make the video on it. So this is the Galley build that I have gone with. I've actually decided to kind of play it as a fighting deck. Um, I've leaned towards the fighting side of Galley. One of the cool things I like about this is we can abuse cards like Martial Arts Dojo and um, Spell Tech in the same deck, which is kind of cool. So. Gallade, of course, becomes a Psychic and Fighting type with its ability, meaning you can hit Mewtwo for weakness, and you can hit Pika Rum for weakness, and of course, stuff like Dark Box decks for weakness, and Savali. So, so you have really good typing. Um, one of the problems with Gallade is, of course, the attack is two energies. I'm not a fan of that. We have to always be hitting energy to attack. But when we attack once, we should be able to flow and loop our energies thanks to the fact that we move it from one of this <laughs> Pokemon to one of our bench Pokemon, move it to a bench Gallade. And I am taking advantage more of the fighting side of this using cards like Sledgehammer, Buzzwool, and Diancie in the deck, and Martial Arts Dojo for the extra damage output. One of the things I do not like about Gallade is damage output is not very good when Malo and Lana can remove all the damage we do, and also there's cards like Great Potion, so I really do think the Dojo build is the way to go. Um, so before we get the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Gargarvin TCG, guys, as always, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, if you're still trying to get yourself Cosmic Eclipse packs, or... Unify Minds packs or Unbroken Bonds packs, whatever packs you are looking for, get them over at Kirk Evan TCG. They do have all the other PDCGO code uh, goodness over there. Of course, like GX codes, Trainer Kit codes, Lee Trainer Box codes, all that stuff is over at Kirk Evan TCG. If you do get anything from Kirk Evan, make sure to use code LDF at the checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, help yourself out, have Kirk Evan out, win win for everyone. So, yeah, shout out to the sponsor, Kirk Evan TCG. All right, let's look at the list here. So, yeah, I've kind of designed this more around the fighting builds. Uh, all the other builds of Gallade I saw were using, like, Tapu Coco, Prism Star, um, I guess Malamar. But, like, really, I think one of my favorite ways to play is just having the fighting package. Um, you're already a fighting type, but, like, you can play some niche fighting types. We get Sledgehammer. Uh, we get ourselves Zygarde. Maybe, you know, Boost Fang can help us out. And we even get this Landorus. This is kind of, like, what I've built. This is pretty budget-friendly. You just gotta get yourself two Jirachis, and you can build this deck. Um, so, yeah, Gallade... Being a Psychic and Fighting, we're trying to take advantage of both types using Martial Arts Dojo and even having the ability, of course, to use Spell Tag, which is pretty cool because then you're doing more damage with Spell Tag and we can slap a Spell Tag on a Gallade and, uh, yeah, we're doing more damage. So that's why I like Gallade here. Spell Tag definitely improves Gallade quite a bit. And, of course, take advantage of Martial Arts Dojo. If you're behind in prizes and you have a fine energy, a base fine energy on one of your non-Ultra Beast Pokemon, of course, we can do 40 more damage, which would in turn turn this attack into a 160 damage attack. With a Dionysian in play, we're doing 180 damage, so we're knocking out stuff like Blacephalon GX and a lot of other things. And just doing 180 is good with the spell tag. We're threatening 200 damage in total, so that is why I like the fighting package with the dojo. And even doing the 10 extra damage means we can do 130 with Power Cyclone, which is pretty relevant. Unfortunately, because we get a dual type, we actually can't one-shot Giratina. I think your worst matchups are going to be Giratina Malamar, and uh, most definitely Arceus Dialga Palkia is also unwinnable because of all the healing they have with Malolana and the fact every time they knock you out, they take it, they kick two prizes. It, that game, that matchup is unwinnable. But those are really only bad matchups, and because you have a good type advantage, you can take down Mewtwo and stuff. Uh, so I just put in Jirachi in the deck to help us out set up, because we already stage two deck after all. Uh, we got some Fighting Boys, Buzzle Sledgehammer. I am playing this one Landris just as an experiment. I was thinking about playing Machamp Marshadow in the deck, to be honest with you, because I thought that'd be a really cool card, but I just kind of went for Landris. Power Cyclone does the exact same thing uh, as Power Cyclone on Galley. It's the same attack. We even have Linear Attacks. It's just like kind of like Chip Attacks. Uh, same thing with the Zygarde here, just Boost Fang, putting energy on Galley. It's always cute. I am playing one copy of Marshadow in here with Resetting Hole, mainly just here for the ability to get rid of Chaotic Swell. Uh, one Mimikyu in the deck. This can shut off Jirachi and Zerora, just in case we ever need it. We don't play Shrine in the deck, but we can use Spell Tag and Mimikyu. Um, going to the items now. I am only playing one Great Catcher. A card I wish I would play two of is Great Catcher, but alas, cannot find room for it. We got four treasures, along with four Pokecoms for searching. That's one of the cool things. This is, of course, Galilee is searchable through treasure. Four candies, one reset stamp. Another card I kind of wish I could play more of is reset stamp. I got two switches. Three Martial Arts Dojo, once again, being the stadium of choice, allowing us to do more damage with Galilee is always good. Um, four Cynthia, four Lily, one Candle Cynthia for draw support. And I am playing two copies of Rosa in here, too. Another really cool card. When something gets knocked out, you can literally Rosa for rare candy Galilee. That's what this card allows you to do. And you get energy, so it's a perfect card to play in this deck. Two skateboards, three spell tags. Since we are probably going to be using Sledgehammer, we don't really need to play more than just three spell tags. But you can go with a four if you want. Play an adventure bag too, maybe. And just eight fine energies. 
pretty good amount of energy. You can go down to seven if you really wanted to, um, because I guess you do have the Zygarde in here. But really, it's fine. We could play like a Lana's Fishy Ron here too if you really wanted to. But yeah, this is my uh, Gallade list here. Gallade fighting. Pretty cool archetype. I think Gallade is kind of cool. I think if you hit the right matchups, this deck can body them. Of course, like Pika Ram and Dark Box. But there are some matchups you don't want to see. So it's kind of 50 50. But if you're looking to tackle some of the type advantages Gallade has, go for it. So let's go try the deck on PCGO. All right, guys, we're going to go try out the Galley deck. We have a lot of types on our side, so hopefully we get matchups where our type advantage is going to be coming in handy. We'll have to see, though. Let's see what we're up against. Ooh, we might have found... Oh, this is this is going to be ADP, which is pretty awkward because they get two prizes per kill. Well, we do go first. So unless they get an altered creation and we get a, we get a trick of Galley, this might be Gucci. Looks like we will get there. We do have a turn one Lily a skateboard energy. Pretty stacked hand, to be honest with you. Pretty stacked hand. So they're playing ADP. They even have the sleeves. I think ADP is winnable. We could do some shenanigans for sure with Dojo on the Keldeo. This is pretty good. This is a matchup I think is winnable. It just depends on how lucky you get. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm a little scared of their annoying healing cards. Go straight for the Lily. There's that rare candy. We got a second Ralts. We spell tag this, play this, get a Cynthia. Play another spell tag. And we'll pass. We do have that turn two Gallade, which is beautiful. As long as they don't somehow turn two Altered Creation me here, we're golden. They're not going to do that. I'm actually curious to see if they'll go for a Whirlpool Suction. Because Jirachi is in the active. It doesn't really matter if they do Whirlpool Suction, though. Like, unless they somehow pull off an end resolve switch here, <laughs> they're not going to do it. And if we can get that first attack off, that's going to be really big. Well, they do play Lily's Pokey Doll, which is quite frustrating. There's a Dedene. That could be a nice great catcher target. They get rid of an end. Ooh, three supporters. One of them being one of the ways to get a supporter back. That's a pretty good Dedene. Actually, I don't even know why they didn't just do Cynthia there. I don't know what they're digging for. There's that Whirlpool Suction. Hopefully they don't find a switch, because I really don't want them to just go into that Lily's Pokey Doll. No, it looks like they're going to get a Malolana, but at least they're not going to heal, which is, I guess, somewhat relevant. No, Laguz Mahalo gets grabbed. Okay. Unless they already have that switch in their hand or the Malolana, and they're not really going to be able to do much. We can swing into this ADP and get some early damage on it, which I like. And yeah, we just top like an energy. That is beautiful. So we'll save the stamp. We'll treasure away the treasure. So we'll our Pokecom. We're going to ourselves Curlia. So yeah. As you can see, when you get the Galley set up, guys, you're in a Gucci spot. We'll Cynthia here. Diancy would be good. No, we do get a Marshadow, though. That's good. Put that down. We do get Mimikyu also. I don't think we need it. I'm just going to switch in Jirachi, I think. What am I taking here? I guess Pokecom. Get ourselves Diancy. Save that Martial Arts Dojo. So we can, we can do some Martial Arts Dojo shenanigans on Caldeo. Knock it out. Which is good. Get Diancy. Once we get knocked out too, we get our Sledgehammer turn, which is kind of cute. Swing and hope they don't have a Malolana, but they did play Tag Call and they didn't grab Malolana. Which is good. We'll just move the energy to Curlia. We're chilling. So this is why I like Gallade a little bit. You know, you get that turn two Gallade, you somehow got lucky with the energy. I mean, this is a pretty ideal setup. This is like the perfect setup, right? We have another Gallade ready to go on the bench pretty much. We have Dionysi in play, a Drachu and then Skateboard on the active, a Spell Tag on both of our guys. We have a Marshadow in play if they bench it, if they do Chaotic Swell, so we can play our Dojo. So we have the ideal setup here. There's the healing cards. This is the only problem with Gallade is it's... This is why I didn't like the Coco version is because the healing garbage. The amount of healing cards tag team decks play right now, it's just too... It's too much for Gallade. It's too much for Gallade. This is why you need to have... Um, this is why you need to have an extra damage cap. That's why you need more damage. They're getting rid of... They play customs, which is a little annoying, but they're going to get rid of it there. I don't really know what this gets them. Weak Guard and a Chaotic Swell, that's fine. We already have the Marshadow, which we can save for a rainy day. We don't need to play it right yet. We don't need 
the extra damage. If we were behind in prizes, we could do some shenanigans with Marshall's Dojo. And there's that altercation. This is where the game is getting a little tricky. They get two prizes per KO, which is not cool. But we are most likely going to KO him here. Okay. Let's do this. Can we get a Pokecom or Rosa? I don't think that Rosa. So we get our Sledgehammer turn, which is what I'm trying to do here. We'll bench the other Ralts. Go for that Power Cyclone. As long as he doesn't heal here, this is going to be good. Move the energy to the other Curlia, of course. I guess I could have went for Power Cyclone, but we're going to try to about Sledgehammer. He'll have 10 HP left after the Spell Tag. He's probably going to heal, though. Let's be honest. He probably has another Great Potion. We'll see. We could also Spell Tag the Lily's Doll. Actually, I think we should do that. There's no need to put damage on this guy. So I think we should knock out the Lily's Poke Doll with the Spell Tag damage. He's going to custom for one card. Okay, good. I mean, I don't really care if he knocked out. Well, I guess Jirachi would have been like the worst case scenario, but it doesn't really matter. Though, honestly, I guess it could have been pretty bad too if he killed that. We take out that Poke Doll. He doesn't. Oh, there's that Malolana. But uh, I guess he's going to go into the Poke Doll. He's still going to get Sledgehammered, which is good. We have that Dojo Marshadow combo. See, this is why I hate Malolana. Like, this deck... Malolana is, like, this deck's worst enemy because it literally just heals mo... Because a lot of the time, you don't even have Dynasty in play. They just heal all the damage. Thankfully, they're only going to have two cards in their hand, so they might brick for a while, hopefully. We'll see. This is definitely going to be a little bit of a tricky game to win, though. Like, they win in just, like, three attacks. Like, this is why... This is why ADP is hard to beat. ADP is just too hard. Okay, so... 178 damage. Actually, we do have to put the spell tag damage on, I th think. We have to put... Three on it? We can put one on this? Yeah, we have to, because we can't use Dojo with Buzzwool. We could knock him out of the Galate, obviously, but... Getting that Sledgehammer turn, I think, is more important. If they didn't Great Potion, <laughs> this thing would have been KO'd. And they didn't Malolana, we could have KO'd them with our beautiful little um, spell tag damage. Once again, though, the healing just doesn't do us any justice. Okay. Play Rosa. Get Buzzwool. energy what trainer card should we get we can dump the landris which i am probably going to do to get gallade we can play rare candy let's just actually we should stamp them because then we can stamp them the two when they knock me out here i am i guess i'm a little scared curly i get to killed here by a custom but with only like what three cards in their hands? Not gonna happen. Uh, take Caitlyn, Cynthia. So we're gonna knock out the first ADP of the game. Now we just gotta deal with this one. Can we KO it in time? That is the question. We'll have Dojo on our side. We can stamp them the two, prevent them from maybe healing. That's our last ditch effort. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this though, guys. Just them taking two prizes per KO is too much for us to handle. There's another Gallade. Maybe if we KO them Gallade and just stack spell... Maybe, mm, yeah, maybe the spell peg damage stack would have been better. Alright, well, let's see what they got. They have three cards in their hand. They've played a good amount of supporters. They can Whirlpool suction me here. I think I'll have to feed them... I don't know, actually. They got a Dedenne. <laughs> Yay! If they weren't taking all these prizes, our game plan could literally be take out these Dedennes. 
Look at that double whirlpool suction. What on earth? There's tag call. That's fine. We're still gonna stamp them here. Okay, never mind. They're not gonna get a uh, tag supporter. Maybe they're just out of Malo Lana's. I guess they're gonna suction me. I don't know what to give them. I, gu I guess maybe the Ralts. Oh no! Actually, it's gonna knock me out. So, unfortunately, guys, I don't think we're winning this game. It's just not looking very likely. Yeah, it's impossible to win. <sighs> See, ADP, guys, you're never going to beat it. They have too much healing. You're never going to beat it. So we just lose to, to that GX seat. Like, yeah, we're not going to win. It's just not happening. How much energy have they played? We can go out and knock out the Dedene and kind of go out in style. Go down to one prize. We could swing into this. Since we're, it's impossible to win, we might as well just go out in style. Yeah, ADP, guys. It's a matchup you're probably never going to beat. Like, it's just not going to happen. Like, you're never going to beat ADP. You can just see, the, this deck just, it's too fast. It's... The fact that they take two prize per KO is just too unhealthy for you. So yeah, we're not going to win here. It's a little unfortunate, but the matchup is just not good in general. Nothing we can do about this, but uh, we can go out in some cool fashion. We can we can do like a jillion damage to Dedene. That's, you know, kind of cool. That, you know, that's, we get some swag points for that. Still, though, you know, we put up a fight. We kind of came down to one prize left to win the game. So, you know what? At the end of the day, that's all that matters. We're going to do a lot of damage here. 360 damage. Yes, please. And we're going to concede because we ain't going to win. I guess, like, in the off chance, they had a low HP Pokemon. I guess we could have double spell pegged. If, for some reason, we weren't losing here. But we are losing. So, yeah, ADP. You're not going to beat it. But we put up a fight. And I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, guys, we're getting into another game here with the Gallade deck. Let's see what we run into. And Guardian. Hmm. Okay, Guardian will be interesting. Really, I think it'll come down to how many healing cards they also play. We'll have to see. We are going to start with a Zygar and a Landorus. I, we'll, uh, I think we'll start with Landorus here. Fine. Hold the hand. See what uh, happens. Okay. Drew a Pokecom. That can indeed get us Gallade for next turn. But I think I want to get Jirachi. Just in case. Don't want to be in top deck mode. We can hit him for 60, get a Curlia down, or possibly top deck out of this. We'll see. But I do, I think I just want to get the Jirachi. I could retreat in Jirachi, but... I think, I don't know. Put him down to 200 health isn't super relevant. But, we'll see. Actually, if we get, um, Dionce, hit him for 80, we can put him at 180 HP, which would mean he would get knocked out by the Dojo Galley Dionce combo. There's a Chaotic Swell. A Fairy Song for no energy, not bad at all. And there is Gallade. I guess we'll get that boy into play. And I guess next turn... We'll just retreat for, um, Jirachi, maybe? Because we already have the energy on Gallade. We'll power Cyclone for 60. Gallade also does take a hit from Guardian's main attack, Kaleidal Storm, which is kind of nice. That definitely will help us here for sure. We just need to draw a supporter. We'll see if my opponent has a supporter here. They're most likely not attacking me, which is good. We get another turn here to kind of do whatever. We could even just swing for 30 if we really wanted to. I think we go Jirachi, just try to get supporters and get set up. It's going to have to be the play. <clears throat> the Chaotic Swell is hurting, but of course we have Marsh Shadow to get rid of that. And they just passed the turn. And we top deck a Lily. Which is awesome. There's a Ralts. There's a Marsh Shadow. And yeah, I think we just get him for 30. And then we can actually win next turn if they... Well, we can win. It's possible to win next turn is what I'm trying to say. If they don't heal, we can possibly win the game. We just need to get Diancy. And then Diancy Energy wins us the game here. So let's see. 
Rosa would give us the top deck. No. We could reset and hold them. Get this thing down. I guess we'll go for Cynthia. Just try to get energy Diancy, and that will be game. We do actually win the game here. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Holy cow. Okay, so Guardian is, much like the other matchups, can be tricky due to the amount of healing they have, but because we kind of just got lucky there, we just kind of bodied them. But that's why I like the landers. So that chip damage really does go a long way. We pressed two supporters, which is why we were drawing them. That was a hilarious win. Let's see. I want to see how much healing they had. They had one great potion, two great potions. They had only one Malolana, but they had Lusamine and three Caitlyn Cynthia's to get those Malolana's back, so... Definitely could have been a tough game, but the fact that they were only going to be doing 150 damage, they were never going to one-shot Gallade unless they did their GX attack, is pretty cool. That definitely would have helped us. So that matchup is a little bit more easier than the other matchups. And, uh, looks like we're playing against... I guess this is Reshizard? Or Ability Zard? Could be, uh, Reshiram 2. We'll have to see. We are mulliganing. I don't like that. <laughs> we haven't found a game against Pika or Darkbox, or even a deck that ran Silvali yet. Or we haven't even played against Mew 3. That's a deck I haven't seen in a long time. That's kind of disappointing. We just have to keep playing against these heal box decks. Which ain't very fun. I don't like seeing that. LOL. Okay. Let's see how we're going to start here. Mimikyu. I guess we have to start with Mimikyu. We at least have a Terminal Lily here, which I like. Right, let's see what they're playing. Again, it's most likely going to be either Reshiram or... Um, Reshiram or Ability Zard. We are weak to Psychic, so they can use Naganadel here pretty effectively, actually. That could be a really scary card if they are playing Reshiram. Oh, I didn't realize I'm mulligan so much. Oh, they're actually playing Volcarona Silvali. So Mimikyu is definitely going to be really good here. But we need to damage them. In order to shut off their ability. This matchup actually shouldn't be that bad. So Volley is of course weak to fighting. Volcarona might not be too hard to deal with. There's a Pokecom. Pretty much so Volley. I kind of wish I played Shrine. Because Shrine Mimikyu would immediately effectively cancel out Volcarona. But we do not have that available to us. I think I do want to actually just attack this thing, possibly with like Landorus or Zygarde. Just to get damage on it. So that he can't use his ability. If he gets enough Volcarona to play, he literally could just chip away and knock out any rolls I try to bench. That's the only issue I have. So we'll see. They are going to Pokecom. They're playing a lot of Pokecoms and ball searching cards here. Well, I say that they play two, but it feels like they played more. I guess you're going to get another Larvesta? No? Second type? No. I don't really mind them using Silvali in this matchup because we're going to knock it out in one shot with Power Cyclone. Let's see what they do here. Anything else? Do they get any more Larvestas? No, they're just going to attach to the bench and pass. Drew a Gallade. Hmm, I guess we... I guess we got to discard a Gallade. I hate that, but... It is what it is. We have one Zygarde, and I do want to just chip away at them here to activate Mimikyu. Go for that big Lily. No, we didn't get the chip. I don't like that. We did not get the chip stuff I wanted to do. I don't really know what I want to go into here, either. I mean... I gotta feed him Diancie. The reason is because I don't want to lose Mimikyu. This is too important. Mimikyu is too important to win the game. I guess we just gotta give him the Diancie. We have the Gallade, so if they knock out Diancie here with, like, a Welder, we can just Rosa. Rare, we can just Rosa and go from there. Yeah, they're gonna knock me out. And I don't really mind losing Diancie. We're still two-shotting Volcarona. We can one-shot Gallade. Diancie really isn't even that important in this matchup, I would say. I don't think they have a Silvali in their hand, since they had a Pokecom there, so they... Like, maybe they do. I'm pretty sure they put back a Silvali, so maybe they don't have a Silvali here. We'll see. No, they do have it. It's kind of frustrating. 
kind of frustrating. But again, Silvali is, you know, pretty easy to knock out. <laughs> it gets KO'd in one hit by Gallade and Buzzle Sledgehammer if we get our Sledgehammer turn. Alright, we'll see what they get here. They can definitely chip some damage on rolls. It doesn't matter though, they can one-shot me with Backfire anyway, so I don't really care too much. They're probably going to target Mimikyu. That's probably like, their more important target. Because Mimikyu itself is what effectively is going to shut him off. I kind of wish I had a Psychic in the active. I could spell peg here. Go one damage here, one damage here, one damage here, one damage here, and shut off all their abilities. We can always wait, though. Mimikyu has enough HP, really, to survive a few of uh, Volcarona's abilities, which is good. And they're going to Flaming Shot. They're mostly going to hit the uh, Mimikyu here. They could even choose not to knock me out if they really wanted to. They could GX me. If they really wanted to, that wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, they're hitting the Mimikyu. Yeah, they could GX me here. No, they're gonna knock out Down C. Perfect, we baited them. Feeding them Down C is fine. It's like, hey, I didn't really need it. Okay. Let's see what we draw. We're candy. Galleon and play. We can play Rosa here for sure, which is good. Rosa coming in clutch. Gets us Ralts. Energy. We get a trainer of our choice. We treasure, because we can get another Ralts in play. Looks like we're not really going to get our Sledgehammer turn here. Oh no, we already got the Ralts with the thing. I'm an idiot. Whoops. Yeah, it's fine. We can get another, uh... We just get another Ralts. We'll get rid of Cynthia. Let's get more Ralts. Yeah, whatever. I should have gotten Pokecom there for Buzzwool, but it's fine. So we're gonna show off his ability here. When he knocks me out too, assuming he does have the knockout, Spell Peg will be in effect. When he only has one backfire. One uh, flaming shot. So we just put spell tag damage on each of these. Mimikyu will shut him off. We'll see how long Mimikyu survives for. That's going to be our goal here and our plan. So he needs a welder if he wants to take me out. There it is. But then we spell tag each of these three guys. We have another Rickety Gallade. As long as we don't whip an energy off Lily, we should be Gucci. Yeah, I really regret getting the treasure, but at the same time, having more Ralts in play, I think, is still relevant regardless of what we do. Does he have an energy for Flaming Shot? <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's see. What's he doing? He's going to attach to Silvali. That's fine. Silvali, once again, gives up a free prize. It can't even knock out Gallied in one hit anyways, unless he uh, sets it up. There's a giant hearth. I could see playing one fire energy in this deck so that we have some bait for giant hearth, but nope. He's actually not even going to play the giant hearth, which is interesting. But I guess because he doesn't have another Volcarona in play, he can't play the ability anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Giant bomb, that's fine. We're doing less than 180. Let's see what he does. Just probably a knockout. He's down three welders too, which is really good also. There's that giant heart. Does he have a Volcarona in hand? He has to, like, Baba, but he can't. So, like, Spell Tag's gonna really cripple him here. I kind of wish we played Alana's Rod, because once Mimikyu goes down, we can get it back, but we shut off all his abilities. There's nothing he can really do about that. And, yep, there's Backfire. Nice! So, as long as we don't whip an energy here, things will go according to to plan. We can just put one damage counter on each of these and now they have no abilities and if we stamp them at some point without Savali's ability, that'll be pretty good. We just gotta really hope we don't whiff here. Which we might. As much as I don't like this, I'm going to actually just go straight for the Lily for 6. Maybe Buzzle Sledgehammer. Actually, I think that's better. Yeah, we did get a Buzzle Sledgehammer. Yeah, I think we just go Buzzle Sledgehammer here. This saves us the Gallade. Because we really do need our other attacker here because we had to get rid of the Gallade earlier on. Which I do regret doing now. Yeah, we're going to Sledgehammer. 
Knock him out. Take our prizes, and none of these have abilities, so yeah, good luck for that. And we'll see if they have that last welder for Volcarona, because if not, they have to use Silver Knight to knock me out, and then we knock him out Gallade, and then we just finish them off with another Great Catcher, and that will be game. So we should have Checkmate here pretty much on board. They're going for that Larvesta. It looks like they did find a welder in that insanely large hand when they only have one left, because, of course. Oh no, they're going to red and blue, my bad. Rip. They get rid of two stadiums, so Dojo gets to stick a lot easier now. I like that. I think I am going to stamp him two to three. I like that. We're going to Rosa here too. Yeah, I think we should stamp him to three. Well, it depends, really. And before he plays one Great Potion to heal one of these, or to heal Volcarona, actually, because he can't Great Potion the bench. I forgot about that. I think it, I forget what video it was, but I think it was the Empoleon video. It's talking about Great Potion not healing the bench, but it turns out you can only heal the active Great Potion. I did not know that because I barely play Great Potion. I think we will Welder him here. If he draws those energies, too, it clunks his hand up. So this is good. Play the Rosa. Get Rare Candy Gallade. I wouldn't even mind getting Spell Tag there on the off chance he actually does get the knockout, but we do want to guarantee this. Because I could have gotten a Curly instead of a Gallade, but I think this is fine. We can stamp him. Hopefully, just give him a bad hand here. And Power Cyclone. Not for the knockout. Now, he could Heat Wave me, which would buy him a turn. But without Savali's ability, it's not going to matter too much. This, If he does knock me out, this can be a close game, but we'll see. He does get an Acro Bike. That could help him find that Welder, because we didn't get a Dojo in play, unfortunately. Let's see what he does. I want to find that lander soon, too. Are you kidding me? This guy hit a welder. Yo, reset stamp does nothing. Oh, my gosh. Well, that cheeses me. Well, he's out of welders now, so that's good. That... Bruh. Still, at the end of the day, he could have prevented me from attacking him, so it really doesn't matter him knocking me out here. But, yeah, that is pretty frustrating. They actually hit the welder. That is pretty frustrating, but I don't really see how he's going to win at this point. If he doesn't get another Larvesta down, we're good. If he has to, like, Larvesta Palpat, I guess that could maybe save him. But yeah, it looks like we should win this, guys. We're kind of positioned to win the game here, hopefully. hopefully. This is where I wish I had two stamps, but... Yeah, as you can see, Mimikyu is slowing him down quite a bit, and we're just going to bring in this... Cynthia, put this guy down, we have Great Catcher 2, which is pretty good, Treasure Way Jirachi, we're out of Gallade, but just thin the deck out, actually we'll take the Marsh Shadow and bump the Stadium, sure. I guess maybe we should have held the hand for Great Catcher, but no matter what, he has three Silvalis. He has to get a Volcarona here to save him. I have to move the energy to Zygarde. We get two prizes here. Hey, there's the energy. And what we top deck will allow us to Great Catcher unless he stamps me to two. So yeah, it looks like we are going to win the game here, guys. Most likely anyways. I guess not getting Landers does kind of suck if he does reset stamina to two. We have Silver Switches though. Grass Memory? Okay, that's not a Psychic Memory. He actually could have knocked me out with a Psychic Memory. That would have been pretty bad. But yeah, looks like we win. Let's see, does he have anything else? Does he have any tricks up his sleeve to prevent me from winning here? You could attack me with Mimikyu, but he doesn't have a Welder. If you attacked me with Mimikyu and got heads, that would have been super annoying. But yeah, it looks like he's just going to break Buddy's Beat. And that is going to be game. We're going to take out a Volcarona deck here. 
A matchup that I think is a little tough to beat, in all honesty, even with the Mimikyu. If we don't get Mimikyu working quick enough, their Volcaronas can really pick us off. Um, this is where two great catchers come in handy, though, to knock out two Volleys. But other than that, we're going to come out on top of the win there, for sure. Pretty good game. Um, and that'll wrap the video on the Gallade deck. As you can see, Gallade has good typing in certain matchups. But matchups where they have a lot of healing, like the ADP matchup there, is pretty terrible. But I am a fan of this deck. I don't know what other changes I would make. Maybe take out this Zygarde. It didn't really help us. I don't know. Just having the ability to boost Fang is kind of cool. But I guess you should remove the Zygarde. Maybe throw in a third Jirachi. Throw in a Lana's Rod or like a Brock's Grid, I guess, too. Wouldn't hurt you. A second Great Catcher, I think, actually is needed. Um, maybe another Reset Stamp. There's a lot of changes I could make to this deck. But this is kind of the, the version I went with the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like on the video. Follow me on Twitter down below, too. If you guys want to stay up to date with all my tweets, I do tend to tweet out deck lists and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to check out our sponsor, Greg Evan TCG, down below. As always, guys, use code LDF if you get anything there. Leave a like on the video. Sub down the road to reaching 7K subs. Feels good to say that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.